Hey, good morning and welcome to MG Chasey. Well, if you've got a diesel car, fairly recent one, uh, you will know that you have to use a product called AdBlue. So you have to put that in every so often, normally with the Volkswagens, etc. and Mercedes, it'll show you on the dash when you need to do it. But I've been paying the dealer to do it and it's quite expensive. You can actually buy this at petrol stations, gas stations or on Amazon. The links are below. So I'll show you how to put AdBlue in yourself. Remember, if you let the AdBlue level drop to zero, then your diesel car is not going to start. So you don't have much choice but to put it in. Links below if you want to buy it. I'll show you where it goes in my Sharan and you can see what's involved in filling your car up with AdBlue. Now it doesn't really matter on the brand, whatever you can get hold of is okay, but what I do find I need, particularly for my car, is I need to buy one that's got a spout, so there's a spout in there. So now you need to take the little tap out of here, the little pour out of here, and swap that with the cap. Uh, did it on the ground, so make sure that you don't spill any of this solution over your car. Okay, we're now ready to pour into the car. So in many cars you will find it under the fuel flap next to the fuel, which makes a lot of sense. So in the Volkswagen Sharan or any of the different versions of that car, uh, you're gonna find it's in the boot. So it's actually that little one there. So to get at that, you're going to have to flip the seat up. you'll see it's just behind here so as long as we know where it is I suppose it's okay and you can see you've got some fuses and you've got your add blue there the tank for the add blue remember if you don't re-top this up when you're asked to and you let it get to zero the car won't start so you don't have a choice here now the liquid is actually to reduce I think it's a nitrous nitrix oxide emissions of the car so let's have a go at uh, filling that up now you can buy this in 5 10 and 20 liters So once that's all gone in, make sure you didn't get any on your hands. If you did, wash it off quickly. It's just a question of putting your top back on there. Tighten that up. Panel on. Seat back. Ooh. That's all now in the recycling. I'll just check on the dash and make sure the car's happy. So on the VW or sister brands, you'll find that the dash keeps a record of your range. Don't go too much by this. It won't count down exactly, particularly at the end. So once you get below, I think it's 1500 miles, 1500 kilometers, the system will ping every time you turn your engine on to warn you that you need to top it up. I think if you put the bigger pack in, you can take this up to about 5,000 miles. Once you've done it, that's all there is to do. So I hope you found that useful. Please like, share and subscribe and have a look at my other videos. You have a great day.